In this tutorial video, we'll explain about the location of components and how to work brake system on the 773 air truck. Brake system. Two separate brake systems are used on the trucks. The two brake systems are the service retarder brake system and the parking secondary brake system. The parking secondary brakes are spring engaged and hydraulically released. The service retarder brakes the hydraulically engaged and spring released. The brakes on the 773 F, 775F are completely hydraulically operated as compared to the 773E, 775E. Brakes which were over hydraulic. The air system found on the previous model trucks has been completely removed. Shown is the hydraulic brake system for the 773 F-775 trucks. This block diagram shows the major components of the brake system. The brakes completely hydraulic unlike LTHE previous machines which had an air over oil system. The rear brakes are oil cooled internal wet disc type brakes. The front brakes are caliper type brakes. Oil is drawn from the hydraulic tank by the brake section of the combination implement brake pump. The next component, the accumulator charging valve, directs the PUJMP flow to other components and controls the cut-in and cut-out pressure. One direction for pump flow is to brake cooling. A second direction for pump flow is to the brake accumulators. After leaving the service brake accumulator, oil flows through the arc. Automatic retarder control. Manifold to the service brake control valve. The service brake control valve directs pump flow to the rear service brakes to stop the truck. After oil leaves the parking brake accumulator, the oil flows to the parking brake valve and the towing diverter valve. The parking brake valve sends oil through the traction control system, TCS, valve which then release the parking brake. The parking brake is spring applied and pressure released. The towing diverter valve under normal operation blocks the oil at the valve. If the truck is to be towed with a dead engine, the diverter valve must be shifted manually. Then, the diverter valve diverts oil flow from the electric secondary pump to release the parking brake and provides pilot pressure for the implement control valve. The towing relief valve controls the relief pressure when the electric towing pump is used. This pump is used when towing to release the parking brake. Also, when the dump body is lowered with a dead engine, the towing pump provides pilot pressure to LTHE implement control valve. The pressure reducing valve reduces the pressure of the parking brake oil before the oil is directed to the hoist pilot system. Shown in the top visual is the parking brake release pump. 1. For the 773E, 775E. With the removal of the air over hydraulic brake system, the brake pump is no longer mounted in this location. Shown in the lower visual is the new location of the brake charging pump. 2. Dot. This pump is mounted on the left side of the engine. The 773F-775F brake system is charged by the gear pump. 2. Which supplies oil to the accumulator charging valve. The accumulator charging valve 1 on the right side of the frame by the brake accumulator. This valve directs oil to the brake accumulation to brake cooling into the tank. Once the accumulator are charged, the excess oil flow is sent to cool the brake before returning to the tank. Brake ECN monitors the pressure in the service brake accumulator with the pressure switch 4. If the pressure in the service brake accumulator is low, the pressure switch 4 will open and the brake ECN will signal the monitoring system to turn on the Brake system check indicator. Pressure tap 3 is used to check the oil pressure in the service brake accumulator. Pressure tap 2 is used to check the change oil pressure from the pump. The accumulator charging valve contains a cut-in. Cut-out spool. Once the maximum brake system pressure is reached, the spool will shift and send the excess oil flow to brake cooling. As the system pressure continues to drop to LTAG cut-in pressure acting, the spool will shift again and the system will charge to the cutout pressure setting. 
This process will continue to repeat as other as needed to keep the brake system fully charged. The cut-in cut-out pressure is checked at pressure tap 3. pH or relief valve 5 setting is set slightly higher than the cut-out pressure setting in the event. That the cut-in cut-out valve spool fails. The relief valve will protect the system from extreme pressure. The relief valve 5 can only be tested on a hydraulic test bank. If the charge oil pressure is low at the pressure tap 5 or the brake system never reaches the Proper cutout pressure, check the relief 4 if the relief valve 4 is set properly and the brake system is not reaching the specified cutout pressure. Replace the accumulator charging valve, the cut-in cutout spool are not adjustable. The brake filter 1 is located on the inner left tram rail. The filter 1 has an internal bypass that will open if the brake filter becomes retricted. Shown in the visual of the two brake accumulators for the 773E, 775E. The accumulator are located on the outer right frame rail behind the right front tire. The accumulators are charged by the brake charging pump and supply the required oil flow for the service and parking brake system. The service brake system is oil applied and spring released. The parking brake system is spring applied and oil released. The accumulator, 2, is the service brake accumulator and the accumulator, 1, is for the parking brake. A check valve in the circuit between the service accumulator and the parking accumulator allows only the parking brake accumulator to be filled when using the secondary electric pump. The cab brake manifold, 3, is mounted under the cab on the left upper frame. This manifold contains the arc control solenoid. 2. For the rear brake S and the arc control solenoid. 1. For the front brakes, the arc control solenoids are part of the arc system. The arc system uses the rear service brake and the front brakes to automatically control the speed. OT the truck. The service brake valve. 1. Is mounted in the flue of the operator S cap. When the service brake pedal is depressed, the internal spool direct oil flow to the rear service brakes. The secondary brake pedal, too, is used to apply the parking brakes if the service brake are not responding. The secondary brake pedal sends an electrical signal to the parking brake solenoid. Shown in the top visual is the rear slack adjuster. 1. Dot. The rear slack adjuster is located above the rear differential. The slack adjuster maintains a consistent feel and application of the brake S as the brake discs. Where? The top visual shown the parking brake release valve. 1. For the 773F, 775E which is mounted on the inside right frame rail near the transmissee. This valve uses an air signal to direct oil flow from the parking brake pump to release the parking. Brakes. The lower visual shows the parking brake valve. 2. For the 773F, 775F, which located on the inside left frame rail behind the middle cross member. The parking brake release valve no longer works off pressurized air. This valve receives oil flow from parking brake accumulator. Contained within the valve is a parking brake solenoid. 3. And a purge solenoid valve. 4. Dot. When solenoid. 3. Is energized. The parking brake valve directs oil flow through the TCS valve to the rear parking brake. There are no parking brakes on the front wheels, the machine is shut down, the purge solenoid. 4 is energized and the purge valve drains the brake accumulators to tank. Shown in the top visual is the TCM valve. 1. For the 773E, 775E. The TCS valve is located on the inside right frame rail near of the transmission. Shown in the lower visual is the TCS valve. 2. For the 773F, 775F. The only change in the TCS valve is the location of the valve. The TCS valve is now located in the inside of the FDT frame rail near the back of the machine. Shown in the visual is the brake retract section. 1. Of the electric pump. The brake retract pump is located on the front cross member that support the front struts. The brake retract pump is an electric pump that when energized sends oil flow to the diverter. Towing, veil and the tow pump relief valve. Shown in the top visual is the diverter. Towing, valve. 1. 
for the 773E, 775E. The diverter valve is located at the rear of the hydraulic tank on the right side of the machine. Shown in the lower visual is the diverter, towing, veil, two, for the 773F, 775F. The diverter valve functions the same, however it has changed location. The diverter valve for the 773F, 775F is now located on the left frame rail in front of the left front strut. The diverter valve must be manually shifted before towing. The relief valve, 3, limits the maximum pressure when using the towing pump. This pressure reducing valve, 4, reduces the parking brake system oil as OT passes to the host pilot system, C-O-N-S-L-U-S-I-O-N. -S this presentation has provided new product information, NPI for the Caterpillar 773F, 775F of highway trucks.